Hey. Hello, and welcome to science class. Here are my two scientific colleagues. Hammer, Hammer and Damon. Hello. Today we're going to be looking at three reactive metals. Lithium, sodium and potassium. If we come back here, we have the periodic table. We have lithium at the very, at the very top, which is the least reactive of all three. We have sodium, which is more reactive than lithium, but less reactive than potassium. And then we have potassium, the most reactive of the three we're allowed to use. We're not allowed to use rubidium, cesium, or francium, francium as they are as health and safety, which is boring, which says we're not allowed to use them in the lab. So let's move on to the ones we are allowed to use. So David, if you want to put lithium in first into the water. Hello. Do I actually put it? Yes, that's what I just said, right? As you can see, it starts to change the colour of the water because we put in yeah. universal and clean. No, that. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> we put in and some Hopefully something should happen soon. Hopefully. Should I poke it? Yeah. Give it in. Okay. So that's less lithium. Very boring. Um let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, blam. So this is when science fa science fails. Very Wait, fun. it's kind of working. What do you can say about the bubbles? And as you can see, slowly it's starting to fizz and move around on its own accord. The bubbles that produce a hydrogen gas from the metal, and this should continue to happen for some time until it breaks up. As you see now, it's starting to start to move and start to check, move around on its own. And if you can hear that, that's the sound of the fizzing from the metal breaking up in the water. <coughs> Bouncing around. Oh, there's the smoke. And all through this, it's producing hydrogen gas into the ox into the air. Still a little bit there. <laughs> and the reason the water's turned pink is because we put in the phenophalin. Phenophonin, which made which showed a, was an in, is an indicator to show us the pH level of the water after we put the lithium in there. Now we're gonna move on to sodium. This is gonna go horribly wrong for me, I can tell already. Uh, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, as you see straight away, it starts to fizz and move around and it's much, much louder than, the, than lithium because it's much more reactive. It's made a box. It's giving it a smell as well. And all through this as well, it's producing hydrogen gas from the metal, or from sodium. And as you can see with the water, that this one has a higher pH level than lithium, which shows it's more an alkalizer. Mm. Yeah, so it shows there's a stronger alkali metal than lithium. And the colour type as well, isn't it? Mm. Much stronger. And now on to the best of the best of all three, okay. potassium. Here we go. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. Can I have one? Use my two. I don't use my pen. No. Use my two. Ready? Three, two, one. No. Oh. <laughs> as you can see quickly, that it started, as soon as it hit the water, it, turned, it, started, it lit up and started to fizz and make, a lot, and make much more noise than the two previous ones. And that is the most reactive of all the three we're allowed to use. Now, this young fellow here is Steve. And Steve was the one who used Francium even though we were told not to, and it didn't end well for Steve, and because it is the most reactive and extremely volatile when it comes in contact with water. Bad Steve. And this has been an exciting episode of the Science Class! Oh. <laughs>